Okay. We're about 60 yards out, and that's pretty much where we want to be. We don't want to get any closer than that. Let's crouch up, and let's take the shot. Three years ago, we hunted every single animal in Call of the Wild, and at that time, there was 26 different animals. Well, it's now 2021, and we're going to do it all over again. But only this time, there's 56 different animals we're going to be hunting with a 470 Nitro Express. This one's going to get pretty expensive. Well, first up, it looks like we have a coyote out here. He's about 70, 75 yards out. What I want to do is try and get to about 50, and we're going to go for the shot on our coyote. There's the coyote right there, as a matter of fact, about 25 yards away, right behind that brush. Can't really see it. Do you see it? There it is. We got him. That is one coyote down. And here he's going to lay it right here. I would say we probably got a nice vital hit. The 470 at about 20 yards away. That's going to be a 52 scoring coyote. A left lung shot at 14 yards out. And that's a pretty nice shot with our first animal down. And the 470 Nitro Express. Next up, looks like we have the black tail buck here. We got one out here at about 90 yards out. Let's see if we can't take him down. We'll zero in for 100. And hold it right. There. And there he lays. Let's pick him up. That's going to be a 130 scoring. And we ended up getting a double lung shot at 93 yards out with the 470 Nitro. Kind of a unique looking rack on him as well. We got a real decent white tail buck out here. He's about 97 yards out quartering at us. Let's see if we can't take him down. And there he lays right out there. And here he is right here. Let's take a look at him. He's actually a solo buck, probably like a 180, 190s whitetail. Uh, 179.20, ended up getting a double lung shoulder weight shot and 94 yards out. Not a bad shot and not a bad whitetail buck. We got a couple of bull elk out here and that guy right there is not a shabby looking bull. He's about 87 yards out. That one's not too impressive, but I definitely want this one right there. If he turns broadside, we'll probably take that shot. We got him. He thought he was trying to outsmart us, but guess what? I got news for him. That is not happening. Not today. <laughs> and here he is right here. Let's take a look at this bull. That's going to be a 263. We ended up catching a double lung spinal cord shot at 150 yards. A pretty awesome shot right there. And I do believe... Okay, so you cannot use a 470. I wasn't 100% sure on that, but... Next up, we have the white-tailed jackrabbit. And we have one sitting right here at about 20 yards out. <laughs> We got him. He almost ran away, but we finally got a shot and we took him down. Ended up getting a double lung liver shoulder weight shot with a 470 nitro as he was quartering away, 12 yards away and a 4.8 gray. All right, next up we have some mallard ducks out here and I really want to get one flying. So that's kind of our goal to try and take one out of the sky with the 470 nitro. So we're gonna go over here and try and jump some up and see if we can't take one out of the air. If they fly straight away, at least. That should work right there. And it is most certainly going to work. And he piled up right out there. Let's go take a look. That's going to be a 12.8. We ended up making a double lung shot at 49 yards on the fly. Take a look at that. We hit him like right there and actually caught the lung as he's flying at 50 yards out. Not a bad size Drake Mallard duck. We got a real decent black bear out there at about 140 yards out. I want to get a little bit of cover here and see if we can't take the shot. Might be kind of a far shot, but... If he stepped out, we would probably take that shot. Don't go that way. This is going to be much better. He's about 90 yards out there, and I want to hold it right between the shoulder blades and see if we can't make an awesome shot. And I think we did, because... I thought he piled up, but then he got back up and started running, and then he fell over again. So we had to have gotten lung because he didn't go like 10 yards. Definitely a vital hit. And Tyrion lays right here. Let's pick him up and see. Now that's going to be a double lung liver shot at 93 yards and a 19 scoring black bear. Not bad. We got a pretty good bull moose out there at about 200 yards. We don't have a very good win, but I want to get a little bit closer, put out some calls, and hope that he comes into range for a shot. There's our bull. 
And we just smoked him. I think he just piled up. Now, you can't use a 470 Nitro on the Moose anyways, but I kind of want to take down a good bull, you know? Definitely a nice vital hit right there. And he's going to run a little ways, but he's not going to go too far. And there he is piled up right there. Probably ran about 80 yards or so. So I would say we probably got a single lung. Either way, let's pick him up. He's a solid bull. Actually, I was wrong. We ended up getting a double lung shot at 65 yards out. Absolutely smoked that bull. Yeah, that's a pretty solid bull. Next up, looks like we have a nice black buck out here. He's going to be about 150 yards. That is actually kind of a giant black buck. But we're going to take him down with the 470 Nitro if we can get a shot off here. It's going to be kind of difficult because you can't actually call them in. So we're going to have to take a little bit of a shot. We're talking uh, like 180 probably out there. There he is. He's 180 yards out on the trot. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. There he is. We got him. I think. I think we got him. <laughs> Even if we hit him, it should take him down. Yes, he's down! We took him at 180 yards with the 470 Nitro. Wow, that was a far, far shot. We got a mule deer out there as well. But uh, I don't think we're going to be taking him down. That's a pretty good indication we made an awesome shot right there. Because there's a vital hit. And if you look, right here is our giant black buck we took. At about 180 yards with the 470 Nitro Express. And I think we'll take a picture. Because that thing definitely deserves a picture. Wow, let's pick him up and see how good the 470 did. Ended up making an incredible 200 yard walking left lung shot and a 27.10 black buck. Wow, what a heck of a shot. 206 yards out. Whew. That right there is a giant water buffalo, and we're going to be trying to take him down with the 470 Nitro Express. He's about 270 yards out, and I want to get to at least, like, I guess we're not really going to have to go after that one because we got one coming at us right here. And, yeah, how about we just do that? <laughs> how about we just do that? <laughs> wow, that made my life so much easier. Thank you so much, water buffalo. Let's pick him up. That's going to be a 148 gold. And that's going to be our first gold with the 470 and this entire hunt. Ended up getting a heart shot. Centered the heart, double lung, liver, and stomach at 10 yards away on that buffalo. I was just saying, if we find a puma, it's going to be very difficult. And we just found one right there. We are not passing this opportunity up. Just did like a 360. No! Oh, I got the 360 glitch. I pulled up and it like threw me over here. Oh, there's actually a male. That might be even better. There's a male over here. And I think I just saw him right there. It's a really nice seven very hard Puma. He's coming in right there. Just saw his head stick up. It's gonna be very difficult to see him coming in. If we watch closely, we should be able to see right there, right there, right there. Look at this, look at this. Here he comes, here he comes. There he is. <laughs> we got him. We got him. He was about 25 yards out. <laughs> we just smoked him. That's going to be a 37.10, and we double lunged him at 15 yards. Tucked him right behind that front shoulder and just smoked. That's seven very hard. Puma. This could get kind of interesting. We got a decent red deer stag right here, and we also have a bunch of access deer we're trying to get to. Um, I think we might be able to take him down and then the heck is that <laughs> i mean i guess it's a stag but it's pretty tiny okay we got a bunch of female we're gonna take down this one right there at 100 yards i should have just smoked him but i don't know it's hard to tell and here he is here. We ended up with a double lung liver shot at 99 yards, a 171 red deer. That's actually a solid stag. And the 470 did quite nice at 100 yards. 
We got a pretty nice access deer out here. He's level three and he's about 70 yards out from us. He's tucked in behind that brush a little bit, but uh, we're gonna try and squeeze forward a little bit more so you can see. This is actually gonna work out quite a bit better. We got a couple of decent bucks out here, about 40 yards out, and we should be able to take the shot right through there. Zero for 50. And there he lays. I saw a piebald as well, and I wouldn't mind trying to get him on the run. We got him. <laughs> we rolled him. Nice. Let's go take a look. Yep. It definitely is. That's kind of cool. Let's pick him up. A 124 piebald, and we ended up getting a running vertebrae shot. Actually, that does look kind of cool. We should get it mounted. Double lung liver stomach shot at 76 yards. Yeah, we'll get it mounted for sure. So this one right here is going to be the first one that we got with the 470 Nitro. And he actually went down in a pretty cool position as well. Well, let's pick him up. And that's going to be a 161. Ended up getting an awesome double lung shot at 47 yards out. Tucked it right behind that front shoulder and just smoked that Axis buck. I know we're supposed to be using the 470, but that's a huge mythical Puma out there. And we happen to have the M1 Grand. So we're going to go for about a 380 yard shot on this mythical. I think we just absolutely smoked that Puma because it did a backflip and then I never saw it again. Well, here's our Puma and I was right. That's a 390 yard perfect double lung heart shot and a 38.20 giant mythical Puma. Holy what an incredible shot as he was drinking out there 390 yards and just absolutely smoked that Puma. Well, you got a decent mealy buck here. He's right there at about 27 yards, but we don't have a shot yet. We'll have one in one second though. I'll tell you that. Boom! That's actually a solid looking buck. Look at the rack on that. I like that a lot. Let's pick him up. That's a 192. We double lunged him at 24 yards out. Not bad. And a solid looking buck. I hear ducks. I hear ducks. I've been looking so long for a duck. And we have one right there. 80 yards in front of us. Yes, we got him. Here he is, and a 4.2 ended up taking a 42 yard. Actually, he was only 40 yards. Okay, well, it's a good thing the 470 is powerful because <laughs> we hit a little bit high. But nonetheless, that took him down. Honestly, even the wind from that bullet probably would have knocked him out. <laughs> we got a pretty decent European bison coming through there at about 75 yards out. Let's see if we can't get on him. And just smoke that bison. Should have been an awesome shot. I held it right where, right where his front shoulder was. And yeah, he definitely piled up. There he is right there. Must have been a pretty good shot because he only went maybe like 50 yards. I would say we should have gotten a double lung shot. In the 151, we actually did get a double lung shoulder blade. We came out the opposite shoulder walking at 73 yards out in a 151 European bison. We got a fox coming through here. She's about 28 yards out from us. See if we can't take her down. She is not going anywhere. I'll tell you that. Oh, wow. That was perfect. I think we'd be able to get that close to a fox and take her down with a 470 because they're very, very smart. But we ended up getting a double lung shot at 28 yards out and an 8.4 female red fox. I found a track from a pretty heavy wild boar and I figured we might as well track him down because we do in fact need a big wild boar with a 470 as well. And I think we found him. There he is right there bedded at about 80 yards out from us. It's going to be kind of a difficult shot because he is bedded down. So I think we might try and get a little bit closer and see if he maybe stands up at somewhere around 50 yards. He's up, he's up, he's up. Boom! We doubled up. I figured why not we got the big one and that one was pretty big too. So <laughs> We just doubled up on some big old boars. Wow, that was pretty sweet We snuck up on two really nice boar one absolute giant 
with the 470 nitro so we'll grab this one first that's gonna be a 110 scoring and we looks like lung liver intestine him at 19 yards away but this one here should be quite a bit bigger that's gonna be a 129 score we liver stomach shot him at 20 yards away Whew. that 470 really did a good job on this giant wild boar Looks like we have a loner goose coming in here, and he's a little bit high, but... Oh boy! No! Reload, reload, reload! I was sitting here for like 20 minutes waiting for a goose to come in. Yes! We got him! We got him! And here he lays right here. Let's see what that's gonna be. It's a male on top of it. A 97 yard shot right to the neck with the 470 nitro not bad a 5.8 scoring canadian goose it's a new day and a new morning so i thought we'd head back to medved taiga here which we haven't been in quite some time we're gonna go after some brown bear musk deer reindeer and hopefully even some lynx and that right there is pretty cool that's actually a spirit bear and he's about 240 yards out now that's the first bear that we've seen in this spot here all right looks like we're 100 yards exactly so let's bust out the 470. Take the shot. We just rolled him right over. What an awesome shot. Wow. All right. Here's going to be our brown bear down with the 470. And I think that's going to be a spirit, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't seen one in quite a while, so I could be wrong. Let's pick it up, though. It's actually a light brown and talk about an incredible shot placement right there. Double lung hard shot at 108 yards and a 20.5 bronze. Cause I don't know. Okay, that's what I thought. So you can't even use a 470 on the brown bear. Um, I was actually hoping that we could get maybe like a big seven or mythical, but then that'd be kind of sad because we can't even get full score. So we absolutely smoked this brown bear. Well, we made an awesome shot on that brown bear, but unfortunately it was not the right bear that we we're trying to get. So now what I want to do is make sure we get at least a male before we continue on with the hunt. There we go. That's a pretty nice male out there at about 350 yards out. Kind of a reddish brown color, but that is definitely a nice brown bear. He's actually gold potential as well. So we'll try and go after him in a second, but we also have a really nice must deer that I saw here somewhere and quite a few brown bear but these are all female that right there is a huge must deer that's actually borderline dime potential i would really like to get to 160 yards out and take a shot i mean actually i would like to get even closer than that but i don't really know if we're going to be able to with all these animals here all right up on top of us let's just double check 113 we're zeroed in for 109 that should be pretty much ideal with where we want to be but I do want to try and slide forward a little bit and back up because I kind of want to take a prone shot here. We should be able to make this happen. Wow, the fact that that thing didn't just crumble. Let's pick him up and see how big he's going to be. That's a 186. That was a huge must deer and we actually dropped right below the lung at 112 yards we shouldn't really have had dropped though because i was holding for kind of the center of the lung for 109 and three yards difference really shouldn't make that much difference but either way we did get him and that's a really nice must steer down a 186 okay there's the female brown bear where's the nice male there's the male he's 100 yards in front of us right here we also have a couple of bull reindeer here as well we might be able to double up here depending on how close we can get. Now we could take a 100 yard shot easily, but I would like to get to at least 50 because he's sitting out there at 96 right there. And we really don't need to get too much closer. We have a perfect wind. So why not try and get as close as we can? I would say if we can get to that patch of rocks right there in between us and him, it should put us somewhere at about 60, 70 yards out. We should be able to take the shot. Okay. We're about 60 yards out, and that's pretty much where we want to be. We don't want to get any closer than that. Let's crouch up, and let's take the shot. If we got too much drop, well, 
He didn't go very far, but he didn't exactly drop. I guess maybe we only got a single lung? Because with a flesh hit, he probably would have ran a lot further than that. He really would have. It's definitely a vital hit. Let's take a look at our nice brown bear. I think it's going to be like a cinnamon, maybe? Something like that. And actually double lunged him. And it didn't... Wow. I didn't realize how tough these things are. So you cannot use a 470... I mean, it basically looks like we went right through the heart. What an incredible shot placement again. 63 yards out, busted through the front shoulder and exited the opposite lung. And wow, that was an awesome shot. But you cannot use the 470 on the brown bear, even though they're this tough. Um, I'm pretty sure you can use it on the grizzly bear. So I'm looking forward to finding a decent grizzly and trying out the 470 on him as well. But for now, that's going to complete our brown bear with a 470 at about 60 yards out. We got a decent bull reindeer out here at about 120 yards out here. We're sneaking through the edge of this woods line, trying to stay behind this really thick tree here so we can have some decent cover. And we'll pop up somewhere around like probably 60 yards out to take the shot. Okay, we're about 66 yards right there. And once we get to 60 yards, we're going to take the shot. There he is. Whoa, no way! How did we miss? I honestly don't know what happened. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Okay, the only thing we need left now on this map is the lynx and the reindeer. The reindeer's not gonna be too hard to find. The lynx, however, I mean, unless we go out at midnight, it's gonna be very, very difficult. So we might just go out at midnight and try and take one down really quick. That could count. That could definitely count. That could definitely count. <laughs> Are you serious right now? That was a incredible leucistic reindeer. And he was running out here and I could barely see the antlers. And I'm thinking like, wait a second. Why can I only see the antlers? And that's because it's a rare. It's a rare leucistic. It's actually not a bad size one, but we already have a, a level four gold. So I really don't care that we messed up the integrity or whatnot, but yeah, here he is. Talk about one incredible way to count a reindeer with a 470 nitro. Wow. Look at that thing. Definitely taking a picture of him and definitely gonna get him mounted as well. Wow, a double lung shot did not drop him with the 470. 88 yards away on the trot and take a look at that shot right there quartering away just smoked him he still ran like 20 yards but that's going to be a 169 leucistic bull reindeer not bad so it's kind of a good thing we messed up that last bull which i honestly don't know how we did but because we messed him up we actually had to keep on hunting for reindeer and we came over here and found this guy well we finally found one we got a really nice male lynx out here at about 150. we're gonna try and get to hopefully like 50 yards out and take the shot this is gonna be kind of interesting we got to about 80 yards out here but this lynx keeps on moving back and forth he can't make up his mind which way he wants to go so that's gonna make it very difficult to take the shot we only need to get about 20 yards closer and we could definitely take the shot. But in this case here, it's going to be a little tricky. Got to time it just right though. And there he lays right there. I saw another Lynx take off in the back and I thought it was the same one, but apparently it was a different one. <laughs> here he is though. Let's take a look. He's pretty big. He's a really, really nice Lynx. And that's going to be a 25.6 scoring Lynx. We ended up taking a stomach shot at 56 yards, but I will take that because he was moving so much. I couldn't figure out if he was going to turn left or turn right. And basically when he turned right, I kind of helped for the center. That way, if he turned right or left, we're still going to catch kind of the center of his body there. And we took the intestine out at 56 yards and that thing just crumbled right on the spot. That right there was a very, very difficult animal to find. Now, let's head on out to Africa. Well, we need both of them. We need a jackal and a warthog. I'm tracking down a warthog right now. And it looks like it's going to lead us to this jackal. But man, I've been tracking this warthog for quite some time. I can't seem to figure out where he wants to go to. 
to try and cut him off, but it looks like this should be our chance. Holy jackals! All right, so actually we might be able to get a male because the second one coming in there is going to be a nice level six male jackal. So if we can keep an eye on him, we should be able to take the shot. How far is that? It's going to be about a 65 right there. Let's get ready. And we're going to have to take the shot right now. We got him. Jackal down with the 470 Nitro. That's what I'm talking about. Now we just got to find that Warthog. And a pretty solid Jackal indeed. Let's pick him up. That's going to be... Wow. That's a perfect heart shot at 60 yards out. Heart and the left lung. A 24.6 Jackal. That's pretty cool right there. I didn't realize how accurate this thing was. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is a massive kudu. They're going to come out like 160 from us, guys. We might be able to take the shot. If I could pick out the right one. Going to be... Well, I kind of lost the big one. There he is. I think we got him. The shot looked pretty good to me. The shot looked pretty good to me. And I think we did get him. About 170 yard shot on that massive kudu with the 470 nitro. Whew. That was a big one. That was a big old bull. I was actually about to lose my breath and uh, decided to squeeze one off because we were still holding kind of on the spine, which should have put us at about 180. And that's where I wanted to be. And not going to have much tracking here because there he lays right there. I think we might have dropped him right on the spot. Oh, no, we hit him right here and he ran uh, basically. But that thing is a giant. Holy, that's the biggest kudu I've seen in quite a while. It's probably going to be like a 28 plus score. Honestly, that's going to be that's going to be a giant. I don't think he's big enough to be dime potential, but what an incredible kudu, though. That right there is something else. And let's pick him up. That's going to be a 28.5 scoring kudu. We ended up taking a left lung vertebrae shot at 145 yards out. So that's a huge, huge kudu. But yeah, he wasn't quite down potential. So that's pretty cool. We got a massive warthog out there at about 120 yards out. Look at the size of the tusks on that thing. We're going to have to take kind of a trotting shot, but I think we could take it. Where'd he go? That's him right there. He is definitely not going far. And he's down. And let's pick him up. That's going to be... Oh, we actually hit a little bit far back as he was walking. But that makes sense. 107 yard intestine stomach shot and a 50.6 red brown war dog. Not bad. He really didn't go too far. Maybe like 20 or 30 yards. We got a wildebeest out here. Not a bad size one. He's about 80 yards out. But we're going to have to stand up to take the shot. As you can see right here, you can't really see him very good, but now you definitely see him. And that'll take him down. Or not. <laughs> what the heck? We got a pretty nice wildebeest about to walk right past us here, and we're going to take him down right there. Probably about like a 50 yard shot. And I would say we pretty much guaranteed got double lung. And actually double lung liver shot at 39 yards out. So that's kind of interesting. Anything under 50 yards, you can staser it in for 100. And it really doesn't have much effect. This next animal is one of my favorite animals to hunt out here in Africa. And that is the mighty Cape Buffalo. We actually have a couple of pretty good goal potential level 7s out here. About 150 out from us. So we definitely want to try and get at least one of those big buffalo. Oh my god! That's as big as they get! That's as big as they get right there! I've been wanting one of these for so long, I only have two of them. And the last time I saw one, I think it was probably two years ago. Let's just say they're super, super rare. That is a giant bighorn dime potential cape buffalo right there. Holy! That's him. That's him. Oh my god, he's 60 yards away. That's wild.
watch him. Right behind that female. Move your head. Come on, move. We smoked him. That is an absolute giant buffalo. Holy. Holy. And he's down. He is down. Oh my god. I'm so excited now. I gotta make sure we're recording. We're definitely recording. I just checked. Holy. They don't get much bigger than that, guys. They really don't. Wow, let's take a picture. Let's take another picture. Oh my god. Still shaking. Okay. Let's pick him up. That's going to be a 158 giant diamond. We hit him at 77 yards out and we double lunged him with the 470 Nitro Express. Incredible shot placement, incredible amount of penetration. And that is a huge diamond Cape Buffalo right there. Where did he even come from? I don't even know. I just, wow. Let's get him out of here. That right there is a really nice level three. And he's about 160 out. I told you guys before, I wanna get at least a male of every species or, and kind of like a decent sized male at that. So in this case here, female, okay, the male is actually in the middle. That's kind of what I thought. And that should have taken him down. And it looks like it definitely took him down. In fact, it took him down so well that he did not even flinch. So we made a better shot at 160 yards on this springbok than we did at like 100 yards on that female black brown. Let's pick him up and see how we did. Ended up getting a double lung shot at 166 yards and a 91.9 springbok. That is a solid, solid male right there. We got a decent male Gimsbach right there, about 115 now. Let's see if we can't get on him. Not really a great angle, but... Oh, we lost breath. Okay, we'll make up for it with the second shot. <laughs> I mean, I believe we got him. Yeah. And double lung, oh, that actually was a decent male. Double lung liver shot at 51 yards out. And that was a gray. And the second one looks like we made a vital hit as well. And I don't really know where he went though. Technically this is the first one, but okay, right there, I found him. This one, I think we hit uh, kind of high in the spine lung area. Um, Actually, yeah. Looks like lung, liver, intestine, and a 276 on him at 81 yards out. We actually need a lion as well, and we just happened to find one walking out here. About 160 yards out, but we're not really going to be able to get a shot off on him. However, there he is right there, 150. And a bit of thick grass, but I uh, can't quite take the shot. All right, there he is right there. He's 140 yards out from us, but we have a pretty good win. So we should be able to get to at least 100 yards and we'll be able to take the shot. You know what's funny about this? This lion is the exact same lion we tried to get the other day as he was trotting at about 150 out. We could have taken the shot, but I thought, you know what? I'd rather not risk that. That's what we heard. There's a lioness over there about 160, but there's our lion right there, 100 yards away. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. We definitely smoked him. There's no way he's going far after that. Still running, though. 
And I think he went down. I don't see any movement. I would have to say that we got him. Let's go check. There is a scrub hair, finally. And we got him. Whew, that was not easy to find. Let me tell you what. But we finally got him. And it's going to be a male on top of it. Looks like a lung, liver, intestine shot at 17 yards away. Cool. And if we did in fact get him, which we did, because there he is piled up right there. This is going to complete our last animal on Africa. Let's take a look at this. This actually might make gold. He was a decent sized lion as well. And he's in fact going to make gold. A double lung liver shot at 100 yards exact. Awesome shot and a really awesome male lion. We got a real nice grizzly bear coming in here. He's about 70 yards out from us. Let's get ready. He's actually going to come right past us here. And that should take him down. And that's going to be a 60 scoring grizzly. Looks like we just barely missed the heart at 35 yards. Take a look at that shot right there. We just barely pulled off to the right side there. Still got a left lung shot at 35 yards with a 470 and a solid grizzly. Now we need both of these. We got a harlequin duck right there. It's a drake and there's a bull caribou right there. About 150 out. It would be ideal if we could double up here. It's going to be difficult, but let's see what we can do. 150. We will take the shot right there. And let's see if we can't get a duck. Oh, we're empty! I should have reloaded after that grizzly bear. Yes, we got him! No way! We just got that harlequin duck on the fly at about 150 yards out with a 470. And there's definitely level 2 hunting pressure here, so that caribou shouldn't have gone too far. I don't exactly see him piled up right there, but let's go over there and go find him in a second. First, let's go over here and grab our duck that we got. There it is right there, actually. And it's a, it's a hen, but it doesn't really matter. Ended up taking her down at 96 yards and a 5.3. Not bad. 96 yards on the fly with a 470. Yeah, because I think he was standing like right here. Yep. He ran about, to, well, actually like 10 yards. Let's pick him up, and that's going to be a double lung liver shot at 226 score, 143 yards. I kind of really wanted to take down a Drake Harlequin duck, and we have one out here at about 100 yards. That's going to be him right there on the far left side. So if we can get on him. You best move, bear. No! No! Oh! Oh! We got him. All right, one Drake is down. Nice. Yeah, we took down a hen, which is cool and all, but I really wanted to get a Drake because now we have a Drake Cinnamon Teal, we have a Drake Mallard, and now we have a Drake Harlequin Duck. Anyways, here's our duck, and let's pick him up. That's going to be a 6.7. We ended up getting a 93-yard shot, and a Drake Harlequin Duck is down. We got a Gray Wolf coming in here, and he is right on top of us. Not anymore. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Smoked him. Let's get out of here. Okay, good. They all took off. I forgot I actually had the tracks on. Well, here lays two of them, and the one that we got with the 470 is going to be this one right here. It's going to be a level 7. Let's pick it up, and 
a right lung liver stomach shot at 16 yards away and he dropped right on the spot. We just found a massive mythical Iberian wolf right here. He's 95 yards out tucked in this thick brush, but there's also an entire pack of wolves here as well. So we gotta be careful that they don't all attack us. Right there, I can kind of see one bedded. That's a female. But the mythical, I can't actually even see. Actually, I can kind of see him right there. What I'm hoping for is that he stands up, and when he does that, we should be able to take the shot. But I can kind of see his ear. Okay. There's a female. The female stood up. There we go. Mythical stood up. And I think we just smoked him. We must have, because everything else took off. He was definitely the alpha of the pack. And we certainly did, and here he is piled up right here. Let's take a look at this massive wolf. That's going to be a 37.8. We ended up getting a lung, liver, intestine shot at 50 yards out with the 470 nitro and a huge mythical Iberian wolf. We got a roe deer out there about 100 yards out, but he's in a little bit of, well, uh, it's kind of dark, let's just say, so it's really difficult to see. But anyways, we're going to take a shot. And we dropped him. Perfect. And here he is down right here. Let's take a look at him. He was actually a pretty solid road here as well. A nice buck. And nice double lung shot at 126. And a 71.6 road here right there. We got a real nice mouflon right there at about 118. Kind of right between those two trees right there. And I think we got him. Yep, there he lays right there. Cool. That worked out really good. I wasn't exactly sure that would work out because I couldn't really see him very good. But well, here he is right here. And that actually looks like it was a nice double lung shot. It was a nice double lung shot. 111 yards out. We were just a little bit low. Kind of figured that. But a 157 is a giant mouflon. That's really cool. All right, we got a nice Ronda Ibex coming in here at about 100 yards out right there. And here he is down here. He actually didn't go maybe like 100, 150 yards. Let's pick him up in 125. So we actually shouldn't have hit low. Where'd we hit? I mean, wow. Not very low, but either way, we still got him at 125 and a 93.5 Ronda Ibex. We got a couple of Southeastern Spanish Ibex coming past us here, about 100 yards out. We're gonna see if we can not take down Probably this third one in the back right there. And yeah, they're going to come past about 50 yards. And actually, both those are pretty much the same exact size. So we'll see if we can't take down one of them. Got him. And ended up getting a shoulder blade, double lung intestine. Wow. Look at that. Right through a 73 scoring Southeastern Spanish Ibex. We got a European hare right there at about 100 yards out trying to take off. But he's not going to go too far because he just piled up. And that's going to be a male, a 2.8 male. We took him at 86 yards. That is exactly what we're looking for. We got a really nice great Osibix out there about 300 yards out. But where is he actually going to? Ah, oh, he's actually going to go right there. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Now, we gotta go all the way around there and try and come into range to take a shot because if we go this way, we're gonna spook all these Mouflon and then they're definitely gonna spook that Great Osibex over there, so it's not really an option. Well, on second thought, why don't we just go for this one? We got one on our side of the lake here, and he's actually a pretty good sized one. About 200 yards out. There's another one right there. That's a level three. So we'll definitely go for this level four right here at about 200 yards out. We should be able to swing around to maybe like 150. Well, we're looking at about 150 right there. And honestly, I think we're to take the shot. Got a pretty nice move on back there as well. But we should be able to hold it right there for 150. Got him. That worked out really nicely. Let's go get him. After this, I think all we need is the Basidi Ibex. 
Well, here he is here, and let's take a look at him. That's going to be an 80.9 scoring, and we actually made a perfect hard shot at 138 yards with a 470 nitro. Actually went right below the neck there, caught the heart and the left lung at 138 yards, and a pretty solid looking Grado Cybex. Okay, so the last thing that we need is the BCD Ibex, and honestly, this is probably the easiest thing to find on this map, so it shouldn't be too difficult. And there we have a Basidi Ibex, about 300 yards out. I don't really know where he's going though. If he goes up that hill, it could be kind of difficult to get a shot off with this thing. All right, there he is right there at about 120. We might take that shot. And we definitely will, and we piled him up right there. Not bad. That's going to complete Quattro Colinas and all the animals with the 470 Nitro Express. Now, I think we're going to head over to Silver Ridge Peaks. And then after that, we're going to go to the new map, the New Zealand Terra. And that'll pretty much finish off this entire hunt. But here he is right here. A really nice Mercedes Ibex, a 137, a liver left lung shot at 124 yards. Pretty solid looking Ibex. We got a really nice pronghorn buck out here at about 140 but he's in a little bit of grass so i'm actually going to highlight him so you can actually see where he's at and then we're going to pull the 470 and kind of silhouette him and take the shot but we have to do it kind of quick just like that just like that we got him and that's going to be a double lung shoulder base shot at 149 yards a 79.8 scoring pronghorn buck and let's take a look at where that shot actually did hit right by the shoulder blade there busted through both shoulder blades at 140 yards that is a really nice buck now we need a turkey and the turkey might be a little difficult to get close to but hey got a buck right there we already have a mule deer so we don't need any more mule deer guess what guys we need a turkey and a gobbler just landed right on top of us here And we got him. I was actually heading over to try and find some Plains Bison and this gobbler just came flying towards us. So I thought, hey, we need a gobbler. Let's take him down. And here he lays right here. That's gonna be a 4.3. Ended up making a brain shot. Wow. That's very difficult considering we're using one bullet and right in the back of the head with a 470 at 40 yards away. What a heck of a shot right there. And honestly, I wish I could say that I was trying to hit the back of the head. <laughs> but I will definitely take that. Nice gobbler down. That is actually what I was looking for. But take a look at this. Look right there. There's a big old muley bedded right behind. That is so cool. Because we're spotting this buffalo. And I could just see out of the corner of my eye a massive rack sticking up over that ridge right there. And there he lays. That's a beautiful muley. And if we didn't already have a muley, I would definitely go for him as well. Anyways, we got a really nice Plains Bison here at about 200 yards out. Let's see if we can't get in range and take a shot. Okay, he's right there. He's not too happy. But we're going for a shot. And we're going to need to follow up, probably. Unless he piles up. Which he probably did. because Oh, no, he's still coming. He's still coming. We're empty. Oh, man, we're empty. Come on. Get a follow-up. Get a follow-up. Boom! Boom! We got him! Those are tough. Those are really, really tough. I wonder where we hit that first shot, though, because it obviously wasn't that good. Um... Ooh. That is not a very attractive shot. <laughs> Whoa, how in the heck did we hit there? Then we got a left lung shot. Then we got a double lung liver shot. So we finally did take him down. A 146 at five yards away. I was hunting for bighorn sheep and all of a sudden they all took off. Well, that's because these guys. We got a really nice mountain lion out here at about 180 yards. Actually, there's two of them. And I think they both might be mythicals. All right, we got him right there about 90 yards out. We're going to take the shot. Definitely smoked him, but yes, he did. Yes, he did. And there he lays right there. Actually, he didn't exactly drop because there's a vital hit right there. It looks like we might have only got like a single lung or something like that, but 
He must have dropped. Okay, because we got double lung at 95 yards out. Awesome shot at him and a 37.9 giant mythical mountain lion. We got a pretty nice Rocky Mountain bull elk right there, about 100 yards out. We put out a couple of calls, and I'm kind of hoping for him to come a little bit closer. The wind is not ideal, but we could definitely take that shot. Wow, we just smoked him. Ooh, ooh, the 470 just cooked that giant bull. Let's go take a look. I honestly wasn't expecting him to just pile up like that. I mean, these elk are pretty big. You're talking 1,200 pounds plus, and that thing just crumbled. Right, here he is right here. It's a solid bull too. Probably going to be like a 315, 320s bull. 339 we double lung spine shot at him at 93 yards out that's why he crumbled wow <sighs> a 470 nitro double lung shoulder blade and spine at 93 yards and a 339 bull elk that is a giant ram that's actually a max weight and he's borderline down potential right there about 170 he just got spooked by something we got to try and cut him off here. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd he go? There he is. He's about 180 out right there. If he slowed down, we could definitely take the shot. Oh my God, that was epic. <laughs> that was incredible. He slowed down for a couple of seconds and we held for the front shoulder for 180 and just crumbled him. That was a massive ram. Whew. But here he is, right here. A massive bighorn sheep. Let's take a look and see how big he's going to be. That's going to be a 147.9, and we double lung heart shot him at 180 yards with the 470 Nitro Express. Talk about a perfect shot and a huge ram with the 470. The only thing left that we need on this map, I believe, is going to be the mountain goat. And we should have some right over this ridge. And here one comes right here. And that's going to be the last animal on Silver Ridge Peaks. Now, we're going to finish it off on Te Ora. But that's going to be a 75.9. And we end up getting a left lung stomach shot at 57 yards out with the 470 Nitro Express. We got a herd of feral pigs right here, and there's a couple of decent boar. We got one right there. There's another one that's a little bit bigger right behind it. I kind of want to try and get over there and get the bigger of the two. All right, there he is right there, 45 yards away. That's going to be the biggest one. And I figured, why not double up? <laughs> we took down both of them with the 470 Nitro at about 50 yards out, and they both piled right up. This one here is actually a boar as well. It's a black and gold and it was a small level two left lung stomach liver shot. This one's going to be a double lung liver shot, a 105 and a 46 yard dark brown on him. Let's take a look at that shot there right through the shoulder blade, double lung liver and got some pretty good penetration. We got a chamois right there at about 150 yards and I think we're going to take the shot from right here. Yeah, we definitely are. It's a little bit high but i think we got him yeah we definitely got him okay good actually let's double up let's double up. Oh! what how did that not crumble yeah he's down either way didn't go far another one going down there Boom! now that thing crumbled Whew. <sighs> That sucker definitely crumbled. 
Let's go over here. So here's the first one. We'll pick him up. And double lung liver at 148 yards. I knew I was a little bit high, but that's actually a gray brown. And here's the last one that we got on the run at about 100 yards out. Ended up getting a running double lung shot. Talk about right on the money with the 470 Nitro. Whew. We got a decent Zika buck coming in here. He's about 50 yards out coming right to us. We're actually up in a tree stand right now. But he should step out here any second now. And we might actually go open sights on him. Yeah, I think we're going to. And he's down. Should we double up? Well, definitely got a hit into him. That probably should take him down. He is not going far. Anyways, here he is. Let's pick him up. And that's going to be a right lung liver shot at 31 yards out. A 100.4 Sika. We got a decent fellow buck right there at about 120. And he just turned. <laughs> I had him perfectly broadside, but now he's actually slightly quartering at us. But either way, we can still take that shot. And we definitely hit him. And he's down right there. So probably we got intestine or something like that. And yep, intestine went right over the top of the lung there. Caught the intestine at 120 yards and a 169 fellow buck. We actually have a pretty nice feral goat right there. He's about 100 yards out and he's actually in the back right there. You can just barely tell that's him. But let's get on him. Come on, come on. Gonna make me take that kind of a shot, huh? Well, I think we got him. <laughs> that was an incredible shot and in one actual way to finish off this hunt. Wow, I had so much fun, but it took a long time. This actually took me over three days of just recording to make. But here he is, right here. We took him on the trot, a 165 scoring blonde feral goat. And we ended up smoking him double lung on the run at 109 yards with the 470 nitro. We have now officially hunted all 56 animals in Call of the Wild. And on that note, I really want to take this time to thank you guys for all the incredible support you've been putting out for all the videos and also for having patience for letting me have enough time to make this kind of a long, super intense video. And uh, anyway, so that's going to be it. I want to show you the rest of our trophy lodge here. I hope you have a really good rest of your week. I hope you have an amazing rest of 2021. But now you've finally seen all 56 animals hunted in Call of the Wild with the 470 Nitro Express. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.